Go ahead. Here? No. There. Like this? Not there. Where? Let's start over. Go ahead. Here? Not there. Like this? No. There. Where? Let's start over. What? No. Ready. It's cold. It's cold, and now you say? Want some milk? I never drink it. Everybody drinks milk. It's good for you. Not if you're lactose intolerant. It's good for your bones. Secret of milk is, it's like taking a bath in your mama's shadow. Milk's what makes you mammal. Well, I guess I ain't mammal then. You ain't mammal? No. Nope. Then what are you? Amphibian. You're amphibian? You don't even know what an amphibian is. Do too. What then? Smooth skin vertebrae, cold-blooded mother. Amphibian got lucky, see? It was born with a silver spoon. It can make it on land, it can make it on water, it can go back and forth between two worlds. Lucky guess. Lucky ain't got nothing to do with it. You forget I got the osmosis. As long as I got this here dictionary on my bed, I got all the answers to life. What's the definition of black, then? Black is a velvet curtain. Pull it back and get a throat that swallows time. What's the definition of white? White ain't any old thing, it's just a hair like the last piece of cotton in a field. That ain't the definition of why. I got the dictionary, so I make the definitions. The definition of sex. Now, the eclipse of two bodies in the heaven. Or two pillows in a hotel room. What, you and me? It's up to you, it's your dream. Oh, hell no. I'm leaving your white ass for good. My husband's getting suspicious, see? I put the wedding ring back on my finger. Besides, I got my period. Again? Damn, woman, you gonna bleed to death. You're the one that reeks like a near-dead dog, and you taste like one, too. How many nights you been at it now, drinking that no-count lot of fluid? 10,000? No count. Lucky you ain't caught fire, gone blind, one or the other. Lucky I do go blind. Won't have to look at your fat, ugly face no more. Anyway, a lot of food's good for you. It makes your soul burn bright so God can see you to save you from the pit of 10,000 things. Who told you that raccoon tooth dick nonsense? God himself. Dog more like it. You done drank so much of that poison, you done gone talking crazy, talking to dogs. But dogs real sly. They just want to outwitch you. I don't know where they got this loyalty jazz laid on them. I mean, they real behave because they've been bred that way since way back when, but they ain't all good. More bad dogs than good. Me, I prefer frogs. Frogs? Bullfrogs. Sweet old souls that breathe through their skin and go croak in the damp in the dark. You can't hardly ever catch a bullfrog. You know they got these African reed frogs that can switch their own sex. Switch sex? Sure. It's in the dictionary. They go back and forth between male and female. I can't believe like any old thing. Remember that summer we woke up and there was a frog on the pillow? <laughs> Just like it crawled out of a dream and onto the pillow between us. And you picked it up and he peed all over your hand. And a month later, I had warts on my hands, so I went down to the barber, had him cut them all off with a stop razor till my hands bled. I remember. <laughs> well, that's what it feels like talking to you sometimes. Like I gotta cut off itty bitty pieces of myself to get through a conversation and a dream. Only problem with that barber is he wasn't thorough enough, you ask me. Should have cut you up more and spilled the wickedness out of you. Come over here and shine my shoes. And don't pull any sham polish on me now. I want to see mirrors that shake the moonlight when I walk. Problem is, your feet sweat so damn much they leave salt deposits on the leather. It's this devil humidity. You could churn it with a spoon. Remember my old man? Taught me how to shine. Military man. Always want to use vinegar instead of rubbing alcohol. It saves you on Lexol later on. 
Now on a good Sunday, it's the normal gray to each pair. Right to left, cotton, counterclockwise, always cotton. Then an hour before church, you do it again so the polish bonds are set. Then you come in with the horsehair brush. Cracks and tongues, coarse over dull. Not too hard, smooth, see? Like this. Your time's up. The new days are coming. Remember the day we met? <laughs> we had the same dream. We were playing leapfrog. In the tall reeds and grasses. Under the big elm tree. Which later lightning struck. I dreamed I was you. And you and me. Before that, I didn't know why people had dreams. <laughs> I thought the sun rose and set on you. For two worlds. Promised land. Land of milk and honey. Bible says it's all gonna be straightened out in the end, you know. Every mountain brought low, every rough place made plain, and whatever the root of our lives, whatever treachery, lies, murders, groceries, only God can collect the bill. Don't talk to me about God. I don't believe in no heaven. Why folks got a bright place in their sky for their heaven, but everybody else won't shake because they've been working all their lives. I got a word to be had with God. The definition of word. Before he made ropes. The definition of God. Before he made shackles. The definition of heaven. All nouns, each one and the same. Living dreams of the tongue after the fires of his breath have wrestled out the milk bone rib of time from the parched and parted throat of bondage forged in the smithy of the deep maw of the earth. Ha! And the God of the earth said, Let us make woman. And the Holy Ghost said, Come. Let us make man. The devil said, ha! No. Make goats for the woman. And his army said, No. Make shackles for the man. Shake. Break. Let ride of the spirit said, If you make ropes, <laughs> if you make shackles, now release them. Let the power come. What did I say? Amen. Power. Let the power begin to show. Let the fire confess. <laughs> her and the fire and the mountain and the land I see the water part the land I see him at the dinner table with death the definition of death now what's waiting for us at the finish line they call it race and that's exactly what it is why got the soft cotton of heaven like strands of hair on a velvet curtain a color curtain. <laughs> so you see, black is the prerequisite of white. Woman, precondition of man, dream of reality. And you got all your stars in your sky, your white wolves, your galaxies. If there was no dark matter for them to swim in, there'd be no gravity to go their balls. <laughs> Remember spring, 1984? Solar eclipse? They told us not to look directly at it. Told us we'd go blind. We did anyway. Dark silhouette. Like a daydream of the Earth. No more of this dream driving. No more definitions. I only want to talk about reveries, rhapsodies, repos, visions, like, like we got a right to be young again. You ever want to switch sex? Switch sex? 
We'll switch color. Like a chameleon. Like a frog in the reeds. A drink fire. Like a salamander go back and forth between the two worlds. Neither ourselves or each other. Neither in both. <laughs> Amphibians. I've been having this recurring dream. I've been having it for years. Nights. Thousand nights. Ten thousand. It's you and me. Here. Always here. The bed, the dictionary, the chair, the shoe shine. Place the milk on the table. Where? Here? Yes. Just so. You come to tell me you're leaving me. Going back to your husband. But I can't ever tell if it's a dream or somewhere between a dream and a shout. So way back when, I got smart and devised this trick. I drink lighter fluid, a whole bottle of it. Then I take a match, put it on my tongue. I always figure if my tongue catches fire and I burn up, I know I'm not dreaming. But so far, I ain't ever burned up. So what happens? I wake up. Well, ain't that a bitch? Look what you've done now, woman. Not a match left in the box to know if I'm dreaming or dying. You men have got to get over this sickness for certainty. This one's a dream, that one's a daydream. This one's a no-count nightmare. Don't matter, no way. Just shake it, just break it. Just a hair. You want some of this buttermilk or not? No. What? Let's start over. 